Hey Milton Daily Homes, Chuck here. I tried a new camera angle. I've had this laptop stand for years, finally decided to try it. Who knows? Haircut. Sal's Barbershop, Thompson and Derry in the Live Work buildings. I had a great experience. You walk in the door, Sly Stallone's right beside you. You can be a man there, you get your straight razor, you get all the full deal. Loved it. I've been looking for somebody good to cut my hair for years. And if you're a man, Barbershop. Classic. Loved it. So anyhow, the buyer class next, uh, or sorry, this Thursday coming up, a couple days. Sign up just over there. It starts at 7 p.m. on Thursday. We talk about how to get up to $10,000 or more of free government money to buy your first home. We talk about how to buy a home with zero down, what lenders look for, what home inspectors look for. So you can actually be your own home inspector <laughs> to a point. Uh, we talk about how to get access to homes before they're even listed, how to guarantee your agent is actually looking after your best interests, and a whole lot more. We talk about budgeting all the hidden costs. So if you're interested, just sign up over there, and we've got a couple spots left. So the uh, let's get to today's list. First one up is 1483 Maple, number 207. And it's just under 900 square feet. It actually looks like the bigger model, the Windsor. Um, the kitchen looks pretty good. You've got a den and then you have your bedroom and you've got your uh, your balcony. It looks like it overlooks even a little bit of grass in the parking lot there too. So maintenance fee is 219 actually quite affordable for this size of, of condo. And they've stayed low for a couple years too. I think the uh, the price is in line with the one plus ones that we see in Costigan and everything else. Now here's one, here's a townhouse on Costigan, not far from the building. 364, 888, and we're looking at less than 1,500 square feet hardwood floor granite. I'm not a big fan of these town townhomes because they just seem very cookie cutter to me. They seem very long and narrow, and they don't always have the most functional floor plans in my eyes. And that's exactly what you're getting is a long great room, about 20 by 10, and a kitchen just beside behind the garage. So they're just okay to me. They don't have a lot of zip. I find some of the Madame floor plans are a little bit more creative, and they're a little wider, so you get more square floor plans. You can open up separate dining, separate family room, that kind of stuff. You think about an Emery or a Croft side, it's a perfect a perfect example. So 205 Andrews, 405 is the price. Uh, don't have a lot of information on this one. Looks like it has fin a finished basement, and the sellers are acting on their own behalf. Uh, as their own listing agent. Jervis, a lot of action on Jervis recently. This is an end unit townhouse for 419 and the wainscoting looks good. I, I would hope that for this price they'd be maybe looking at upgrading the flooring a little bit more. They do face the, uh, the park which is lovely. Tough one to call. I it seems uh, it seems like the townhomes are floating a little bit closer to the four range. So at four nineteen, I know it's an end unit. Tough call. It kind of some parts look good, but they'd really go a long way with some hardwood there. Fourth line four thirty four is the price. A Powell model, the one right on the corner of Ferguson and Clark, already has had an offer after a couple days. Um, and, uh, and it's up in the 450. So these guys, I think, are going to do just fine. Doesn't look like a lot of upgrading inside. The broad loom here, which is another word for carpet. And Duncan Lane, 469. Now, it's a 2,200 square foot semi. Now, it doesn't look like it from the pictures. I find the pictures are, are narrow. They're a little bit blurry. There's some stuff on the counters. I just, I don't know if if it's going to draw attention with, with the, the pictures that they have here. Uh, and of course, with certain parts of Duncan Lane, you are facing the train tracks. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know if that one, it's, there's, a, there's a disconnect between the description and the photos in my eyes. Vickerman is at 509. It's a Sterling model. We actually had one of these, I think, yesterday on, on video, about 21 and change square feet. Um, hardwood floors, you got some pot lights, some crown moldings, and hardwood stairs, very nicely decorated. And the thing about these models, there was one facing a park that that hit right at the five mark. These guys back onto green space, which in my eyes is, is even better than facing a park. They're both good, but I would take the, the backyard privacy. Um, you, you make a couple of adjustments. I think this one shows a little bit better. At 509, they're looking great. So I think these guys are actually going to uh, 
the, the week or two and they're probably sold. So lower baseline, 529, and we're looking at uh, just under an acre lot. Looks like that's the workshop there. And they're going to be finishing the concrete floors. You can read about it in the description. Um, the house itself is okay. I think uh, basically what you're paying for is the land, plus a little bit for the house too. The stucco can actually add insulation value to uh, to bungalows, which typically don't have a great R rating. And uh, so anyway, so that's the listing. This part of Lower Baseline, it's sort of by Henderson. It's just a little bit west of 25. You might have some development potential here, but I would think not for probably another 10 to 20 years at least. August 17th is their possession date, and I think that whenever they list that, it's one of those things that uh, could be important. Now, you also hear talk of a cistern in that description, and so you may just want to make some inquiries about the, the quantity of water because we look at whenever there's, there's a purchase in the country, we look at water quality and water quantity. Now, the quality is actually easy to fix. If you have bacteria in the water, there, there are devices, there's UV filters, there's all kinds of things that you can do to improve the quality. But if the flow is not there, if the recovery is not there, that can be a lot trickier to deal with. Okay, so BD Trail 529, it's a Newgate model and uh, about 2,500 square feet. The funny thing about this model and the next one we're gonna see is there's a bit of a disconnect on prices. These ones from a couple sales have stayed a bit low and then uh, th actually the model right underneath this one, the Scotswood or the Huxley has actually surpassed it in price quite a few times. So interesting, I think this one actually is priced really well. Uh, I like the hardwood floors. I like some of the upgrades they've done in their kitchen there. There's a, a separate little area. They've use this as a bit of an exercise room. We see it as an office, a kid's playroom. There's lots of uses for this one. And the master is just over to the left here. Now this model is a little bit different because what we find is that the bedrooms are very well balanced. There's not a huge master. It's, it's a good size master, but the bedrooms have, all of them are, are pretty good size. I could picture teenagers in just about every one of the bathrooms. And I even like the way the shower is a little bit more open compared to having that small entrance there too. That's even better. It'll help your tiles last longer because it's breathing more. So that's a little thing, but we do see a lot of these showers fail just after a couple of years if they're not maintained very well. Like this one a lot. And so Dock Race 549, you think about the one on Yates. I said one that actually I think this one shows better. I thought the price of the other one was was pretty fair. We've seen this model with a finished basement sell right up past six. So at 549, with the way these guys look, you even have the counter upgrades here. You've got some, some nice stuff in the kitchen. I think these guys are gonna do extremely well. And I wouldn't even be surprised if they sold for more than asking. And Dockery is a great little street. It's very quiet. There's not a lot of turnover on that street. So there's some really good things happening with that one. And it's going to go quick. Robarts is down to $5.99. They were up in the sixes. And I always talk about this on the videos. You lead with your money shot. That's your money shot right there. You've got the forest right behind. You're in the Hadfield School District, which I've heard nothing but good things about. You've got some upgrades in the kitchen with the counters. It doesn't have that dark, dark look. Uh, it's an eight foot ceiling versus a nine. So there's not always the, the zip to, to this one, but I think having that backyard, having five bedrooms upstairs, this one makes a lot of sense. This one's gonna go with this price for sure. Uh, Quinlan Court, 639 is the price on this one. And uh, it looks like it's got a bit of a pie-shaped lot, 50 something feet across the back. And uh, you also have a finished basement, dark hardwood floors, upgraded lights, uh, crown moldings. Very nice. I'm feeling this one too. There's some good double car garages in today's list. And even if you go up to something like this on Farrington Crossing, you've got, uh, there's a school behind. You can see that. It's Escarpment Way. And then you've got uh, 30, I think it's 30, 10 square feet, five bedrooms upstairs. And you've got every bedroom has its own walk-in closet and it's got its own access to its, to a bathroom, either a shared Jack and Jill or a private bathroom. And, uh, and it shows well. There's a lot of good features here. We sold the same model over on Hinchy. It was one of the Princess Margaret homes last year. 
and it was sort of in the mid six six twenties, something like that. And uh, and so this one with the year over year appreciation, and you know potentially the school the school backing onto school is a funny thing because. Uh, evenings, weekends, it's quiet. There's nobody there. So the noise comes during the day when most people are at work. Uh, there's not the traffic issues that you find because the street is off of, of the way from the school. It's not on Scott. Um, it's an interesting thing. Some people, it's the bigger building might have an effect, right? Like people may sort of see an ominous structure. It, that's the X factor on this one, but I do, th I, I like it. And August is the possession date they're looking on this one. Uh, Winter Crescent is 659 and it's a Tothberg 3331 square feet. Uh, normally it's a 56 by 80 foot lot. This is a 61 by 86, so a little bit more in the front. A little bit more on the back, which is a good thing. It's the all brick Tothberg. Uh, there's a living dining, and you can see both of them have coffered ceilings. Not a lot of upgrading in this one. Uh, there's a butler's pantry just past the kitchen. The laundry room is just past there. We don't have a lot of looks at the kitchen. It looks like California shutters. Um, the fireplace in the family room. It looks nice. It looks clean and tidy. There's the shower. Uh, they've got the flat ceiling here. Some of the elevations have a nice peak ceiling. It really has a, a, a very dramatic appearance. Um, and then you've got some grass that's kind of dying in the back. Uh, but it shows that it looks like it's a little bit bigger. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the, uh, the wide angle lenses. Winter is a great street, very, very strong street. Uh, one of my favorites, this one, Christy, there's some really good homes on those streets. So these guys are, uh, are looking good. I think the price is very fair, and that's the list for today. So join us for that buyer class. I, uh, I'll give you your money back. Well, it's a free class. If you don't like it, you get your money back. Uh, you can come have some cookies with us. And we'll even leave you a 56-page guidebook. And all we ask is that you just bring a food bank donation so that we can give back to, uh, to, the, to those who need it. And uh, so have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.